astrophysicist turned data scientist and the Pied Piper of all scientists here in the Philippines. Gusto mo yan? Pied Piper. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but sige lang. Game. Ikaw nagdadala. Okay, claim it, claim game, it. Game. Um, so, dati astrophysicist ka, ngayon data scientist. Kamusta naman yung transition yun? Yeah, for me, the biggest transition was really from academia to uh, industry. To work? Okay. Uh, because the data science is, in a way, by its nature, is really to help businesses and companies grow. So, mm -hmm. for me, it entailed, like, uh, actually, my first job. Because uh, right out of college, I went to grad school. Na. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I did PhD, postdoc. Uh, and then when I came back to the Philippines, I also joined the university. But then from there, yun nga, I got recruited to the private sector to work as a data scientist. Mm. So it was like, parang, wow, my first job. Uh, ito pala ang mundo outside, <laughs> this is outside the, the university yeah, and uh, corporate pa. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I really had to learn a lot on the job and how everything works, mga jargon, mga business language. Uh, so parang I think of it as a practical MBA. Uh -huh. uh, and then from there, of course, the uh, role naman is to uh, use yung skills that we acquired sa science, research, sa math, sa physics, uh, to problems that are yeah, uh, more uh, business oriented or um, actually human oriented human, human oriented, oriented right okay. because it's all about behavior it's all about uh, data that people generate right versus let's say data that uh, galaxies generate which is what i worked on yeah, uh, in years. the astrophysics research right and what i usually say guys galaxies are yes complicated they're cool but they all follow natural laws like they follow physics yep. so we actually Actually, never changes, uh, yeah. we can we actually <laughs> and we understand that quite well right yeah. but of course we want to understand more there are things we still don't understand so we use what we know what we understand to parang further the further the knowledge and what we know mm -hmm. uh, but you have like a framework right um, of course in 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 data science or in you know, in in things that people generate, it's more messy, right? Because people are messy, right? Because people are unpredictable. Right, right. The data, <laughs> the data is not exactly uh, correct, right? Because people make mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. And then we now have machines, so that machines actually make it uh, the, the data collection easier and more efficient and, and better. But still, um, a lot of it is, in a way, ganun nga, intertwining of technology and, and, and people and, and, and um, and then the math still underlies that, or parang, we still use math to uh, to interpret the data in mm. the right way. Um, but yun, meron talagang uh, difference in, uh, in 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 how you treat the problems, and then of course in the just the parang how things work uh, uh, between academia and, and industry. So, so that was the big na, uh, transition for me. Dun ka na culture shock. How, how do you handle that then? Because I guess going into data science, mm -hmm. when you're dealing with people, mm -hmm. how accurate is the data in reality? Or, or like, can you give me a, a case study of something you've done in the past? Para hmm. masaya. Para masaya. Pwede mo pag-usapan. <laughs> yeah, yeah di ba? That's the other thing, di ba? Yung NDA, nung unang narinig ko yan, like, it, I had no idea what an NDA is, right? Okay. There, maraming acronyms talaga, di ba? That you just parang pick up along the way. Para NDA, for example, non-disclosure non agreement. Yeah. There's not no such thing in the academia because, in fact, it should all the be shared. The idea is to be, yeah, is to yeah. publish, di ba? Kasi parang yun nga yung goal mo, to publish and oh. share it with the world, give talks to everyone who will listen to you, di ba? Um, yeah. So, ibang-iba yung culture, right? But at the same time, we understand it. Kasi yeah. you want to protect uh, you, the of business, course. proprietary information, uh, and mga competi competition is very important. So, yun nga, I also try to be more careful, but... <laughs> Um, but basically, we talk naman in general, right? So, for sure. example, for every uh, transaction that you do online uh, with all these e-commerce sites or social media sites, right, these are all logged uh, and um, collected and, and analyzed by, by data scientists like me. Um, and from that, because of just the large then number of uh, data points we can extract parang patterns out of it 
And ang um, nangyayari kahit na, let's say, merong uh, small percentage na, na erroneous or nagkamali lang, um, it's always about parang signal to noise, right? If the noise... Uh, <laughs> If the noise is um, is still uh, is smaller, is small enough, na it doesn't overwhelm the signal, um, you can still get uh, the patterns that, that it would be interesting. So hindi siya kailangan completely um, clean, right? It's Parang impossible it. to get a perfect like equation, you know, when it comes to your work, your field of work. Oh. Oh, hindi rin. Yeah, yeah. So parang you wouldn't get a perfect fit, right? Uh, and sabi nila in general, in psychology and behavioral sciences, talagang uh, there's a lot of variance just because people are different. Wow. How do you like it though? Is it, do, you, do you prefer being in this field of work versus studying space and the galaxy? Ah. Yeah, actually, I enjoy it. Uh, part of the reason why I, I, I shifted talaga is, uh, well, I... Is there, one of the reasons is there's this sense that I wanted to work on something that's more uh, applied, like that's that's mm. more related to like everyday world <laughs> versus like space, right? But that was the appeal to me then when I was younger, like probably just out of curiosity, just want to learn about the universe, right? So I pursued that path, <laughs> and then I said actually something like an early midlife crisis. Na parang what is it all for? Oh. Yeah. And then so parang so wow. part of it was like parang yun, coming back to the Philippines. Existential crisis. Yeah, and part of it was like why not use all this know-how, all this diba, intellectual ano, uh, toolkit mm -hmm. to things that are um, that can affect everyday lives. So that led me to parang oh let's study traffic ganyan. Wow. Pero then I realized na okay hindi, it's not just about that right it's not just about technology engineering it's really about again human the human the human element so but there is a role to play diba na if we can actually gather gather a lot of data and use data to get insights can actually guide uh, decision making to make things better uh, if you if, if there's uh, enough uh, uh, intention to do, <laughs> to do that have you, have you thought about going into politics With great That's power not, comes great yeah, responsibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need, you know, with, the, with the realization, yeah, that it's really, it's really not about. It's really not about the science. It's really not about the data. Yeah. But that's but that's also parang a realm where people, di ba, can actually contribute, can actually uh, be good at, right? It's just that maybe for me, that's not something I'm good at. Mm. Although I'm learning, I'm I learning. You, I have, you have to. We all have to learn, right? I think you because can. Yeah. Everything is political. Everything yes. is political. So, um, and data, data is political, right? So, um, I guess. Um, the best we can hope for is parang have to have that like a uh, uh, place in the discourse in the in the national discourse but even that is parang malayo malayo the maganda malayo. sa science in my opinion is science is factual or sometimes all other data that isn't science based mm -hmm. is sometimes opinion mm -hmm. which isn't always accurate mm -hmm. but people's emotions are very strong and that's a separation mm -hmm. between let's say science mm -hmm. and politics but it depends mm -hmm. what the intent is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so when you say you want to go into something that's more human like i guess you can go on mobile is like do you want to make a difference in this world here versus like in space you may think it's more because technically you mga ginagawa mo before i think it is in yeah, my yeah, opinion advancing definitely. us there, yeah, hopefully yeah definitely there, there hopefully. are many ways to contribute <laughs> right there are many ways to contribute and in a way parang part of the you know any part of the move back was uh, exactly what you said just to be part of a community part of uh, uh, yeah part of uh, contributing to Diba? To, to what will come next is the next generation which I, uh, I, I, parang I sort of saw and I think it ano nangyari naman na talagang mas malaking impact if, if I come back here um, and actually spend my 
productive years here rather than uh, stay abroad and then come back later in life where you retired ka na and you're parang not parang eh yun yung na-realize ko di ba a lot of a lot of people a lot of Filipinos and a lot of uh, scientists actually spend a successful I mean a good solid successful careers uh, outside because because the infrastructure is there um um the the network is there the collaborations are there and you really need that I don't know eh, you really need that to be a good scientist um and then, of course, and then they hit the midlife crisis, and then they want to come back and contribute, right? So I think for me, it's just that it, it happened decades earlier than than the usual life oh, stage. Advanced, uh, advanced come <laughs> so, so I'm ready to retire in five years. Yes, advance there. At the age of 35. <laughs> but how old are you now? I'm 35 now. 35 now, age uh, of 40. So you will yeah, retire. Aga, holy mo. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Actually, na, uh, I'm not sure if you have uh, this uh, nationalistic uh, mentality, but do you want to stay in the Philippines and grow that sort of science scene here? Yeah, no, parang, um, interesting din yan. Nag evolved din ako dyan. I guess part, that was part of like coming back, right? But now it's more of like I'm just happy here. No. <laughs> Simple lang yan, which no? is the best, diba? which is yeah, the best yeah, yeah. reason to stay. It's not like, oh, where, yeah. there's not a lot of the tension or the frustration. Of parang every, everything is going crazy, right? Yeah. Do we want to leave? But it's not, I'm happy here, so so I'll stay here, right? And then, and then play a part. Uh, and then he didn't siya parang sobrang like parang, oh, I want to build something. Hindi mm -hmm. parang just. Letting things uh, come and go. I mean, I think part Very of it is zen. also this. Yeah. Yeah. I actually started practicing Zen. Cool. When I came back here. Good, good, good. Uh, before I did some med like meditation just on my own, but uh, here I found a group uh, that practices uh, Zen, uh, Zen Center Manila, uh, and that really uh, I think influenced this sort of uh, then philosophy. Mentality. Yeah. Plus the the practice talaga is the practice eh, changes your brain eh. So again. I, for me, it's scientific. Eh. Um, there's uh, and it's being shown in the studies. Minyan di ba they take in fMRIs and just actually the thing about yung meditation is you experience it directly. Eh. So it's very scientific nga eh, kasi you observe yourself. Yeah. You observe yourself. You observe your mind. Um, science is still catching up. Eh. Uh, because the tradition happened in Buddhism, nga, di ba? And in some other religions as well, but most, parang, most disciplined, in the most disciplined way, in the most parang, concrete way in, in Buddhism. Yep. Um, but definitely, you see changes uh, for yourself uh, if you just do it. And it's so simple, but it's a matter of just doing it consistently. And trusting that something will happen, and it will. Naging ano tayo bigla, Buddhism advocates. No, yeah, yeah. She started actually, meditating recently too. Oh, so. good, good, yeah. I actually I still don't get it. I facilitate uh, uh, sits. We call them sits okay. because we sit in a cushion, uh, sa Akasha Estates. Yung sa ako dun. Yeah, lapit lang. Wow, wow, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we have a small group. Uh, we just sit, but um, meron din kasi. Um, yeah, meron, meron ding parang special appeal and power if you sit with a group, diba? you get some direction in hindi parang, anong ginagawa ko dito, parang I'm crazy, yeah, yeah. I'm doing this. So parang having that experience, and then after that, you continue it at home um, and sit. How many minutes do you sit? Meditate now. I try like for 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Was track. Do you I, have an? Do you use an app or the, guide meditation? Uh, after just, reading about it mm -hmm. and then just trying it and mm -hmm. just trying to be aware. But how do you? How do you find science in something that is practiced spiritually? Where is the science yeah. in that for you? Um, you know, yeah, actually, I think Buddhism. Yung, yung meditation appealed to me because there's no dogma. Eh. To so start, oh, yes. <laughs> so start with the dogma. Eh. You just sit, uh, you follow the breath, uh, you follow the breath, uh, and then they and then see what happens. Mm. See what happens. So, uh, in that sense, it's actually very scientific. Because that's what we do in science, right? Experiment, observe, see what happens. 
pay attention. Mm. Um, so, for me, hindi siya nag-conflict eh. Uh, although ngayon, as you go deeper, medyo was interesting kasi nga, nagkakano ka spiritual components, yeah. right? Yung yeah. spiritual journey siya. Uh, but then, you're more open-minded. And then now I see science as just one way of seeing the world. It's wow. not anymore like, there's no conflict, right? Um, pero nanggaling ako doon na parang science is the end all and be all, di ba? <laughs> pero no, di ba? It doesn't make sense, right? It doesn't make sense. Even art. Art is all realms uh, right. still have questions. Right, and right. Not one realm is able to right. answer everything. And it's just that science has parang found this way that if you do these experiments, you can understand the natural world, right? Uh -huh. It's the natural world. Um, but then, yeah, then they will ask, is it, is it all that is? Is it all that is? <laughs> and it's a valid question, right? It's a very it's a valid, valid question. question. And the point is, we don't know. We don't know. You just have yeah. to be humble enough to say, I don't know, right? And scientists actually help me that humility. It's a value of scientists because we don't know. We want to understand. But what uh, also happens is because of the power, of what, I, what, I, what I put in a formula, in an equation, it works. You test it, it works, the button so much ego in that and arrogance na oh I know, I know the right answer. Yeah. But that's diba? Uh, I think um, somehow you have to get over that eh. Get over that, get over yourself. Right? Yeah. And just be like for example when I say I I, uh, I work in uh, astronomy and then some people they they uh, they associate it with astrology, right? Because that's a more <laughs> no, common thing, right? Like, yeah. can you read the, can my you signs? Read my right? sign? No, what's my zodiac today? But I, I used to be parang really my right, but, but no, it's like cool. <laughs> Why, right? I mean, that's also like a human apparently, and it's actually well studied and all that. Yeah. But of course, of course, I wouldn't say that that that's ah. uh, scientific, right? But. I can now be like humble enough to, to respect that, right? To respect that. That's Absolutely. that's, that's uh, important for hope, right? I want to pick your brain about that because um, when you were working in <laughs> not astrology in astronomy, um, and you guys are how do I say this? You guys are solving questions, mm -hmm. answering questions, mm -hmm. but these are things that are not something we're not able to grasp, physically touch, mm -hmm. like things like dark matter, for mm -hmm. example, right? mm -hmm. like those concepts. How are you able to be confident in answering these questions? Like I'm speaking as somebody obviously who's not in that world, but how are you, how are you confident in answering those questions when you physically are not able to do something or oh touch it? You, you know oh what I mean? Do you know what I'm trying oh to say? Okay. Like, dahil naging sober na tayong... So yeah, no, I think I get the question right. Uh, yeah, like so, so many. So one answer is we get signals, oh. right? So again, it's about signals, data. In this case, uh, observations from our telescopes. Oh. What do telescopes do? Telescopes actually just collect light, photons, okay. uh, just like the camera does, right? So what happens is there's a light source, uh, the bulb hits our face, goes to the camera, there's a sensor there that captures that and records how many how many photons uh, uh, it receives. This is exactly, actually it's the same technology that revolutionized astronomy, the CCD camera. But it also happened that uh, the photons we're collecting there traveled all the way out, yeah, yeah, from space, right? Millions or even billions of light years away. So, and we actually see that in the night sky, right? We see stars, right? The stars, the light from these stars traveled hundreds, thousands of years to get to Earth and hit our eyes, right? It's, a, it's an instrument, right? So, so you can think of science as, 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 as taking advantage of extending our senses, right? So light is something that we see in our eyes, but we use the telescope and we use the camera to record, right? In a way, in an uh, in a way, in a quote unquote perfect record or an objective record of of of, of some of a of a scene, right? Uh, that is not exactly what you have in your memory. 
and that's another question, right? But there's a record, right? Like there's a photograph that's a record, right? Okay. And um, then we kinabit natin siya sa telescope, which is like a big mirror to, to collect to collect more of the light and concentrate it in, in the camera. And then we have images, right? So we see this is the galaxy. This is the galaxy. So that's light. That's light. So, medyo, okay, nakikita pa natin. You can see beautiful pictures from the Hubble Space Telescope, right? You have the galaxies there. You, have, you see the individual stars. So, we know that galaxies are made up of millions, 100 million stars. Uh, and then from there, we can say, okay, we actually also live in a galaxy. So, may mga ganun din na parang inferences, right? We cannot take a picture of the Milky Way. But based on the stars that we see, we know that, okay, we actually probably look like the galaxy there. It's not like we are different, right? Again, this is a bit one and all, right? So, funny dark matter, oh yeah, mass, uh, mass ineffable, right? Because hey, dark, you cannot see. see By definition, the dark matter does not emit light, does not interact with light. So, kaya we cannot take a picture of it. Uh, so, but we have other uh, observations, we have other data that tell us that something is happening there. There's, there, there's some mass there and that we cannot see. Kaya nga siya dark matter. But until now, it's actually a puzzle because uh, we don't know what the dark matter is. So it's an open question. Uh, and there are some who... Um, who there are some, yeah, there, there are actually, there's, there are scientists who conjecture that it's not actually dark matter, but uh, a difference in the laws of gravity, for example. Okay. Um, because what's hap what we actually only see is that these uh, stars that we see, because they are, they are, uh, emit light, are moving uh, faster than they would be if it was on the mass was only the stars, the light that we see. So what we see is motion. Mm. And then there are other ways that other instruments to, to measure that. But but imagine um, um, imagine they're da they're they're they have a, this galaxy, just like the Milky Way spiral galaxy. It's like a plate that is spinning, right? Yeah. We can actually measure how fast this is how spinning, spinning. Oh. right? Uh, this is actually part of my thesis. Okay, that's another instrument, the spectrograph, uh, that gets the spectrum of the light, uh, and this light shifts to the left or to the right depending on whether something is moving towards you or away from you. It's the Doppler effect, the Doppler shift, just like in the ambulance, the pitch of the siren, right? Uh, if it's, uh, uh, can you do it? Uh, yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Because of the motion towards you, right? And because light is a wave, something like that happens too. So for sound, for light happens. So we call it a red shift or a blue shift. Red shift towards the red if uh, things are moving away from you, if something's moving away from you, and blue shift uh, if, if they're moving towards you. And then the amount of the shift uh, is the speed. It's related to the speed. So we can actually calculate the speed um, by uh, doing that. And in fact, that's why we found out that the universe is expanding. Because everything that we measured, most everything, was moving away from us so fast. Right. And, and, and then the realization was, it's not just them that's moving away from us, but we are all moving away from one another. Space itself is expanding because of the redshift. So, mm. So these things, like these amazing things that we can somehow learn about the universe um, that is expanding, that even the, the expansion is accelerating, uh, that there's something that we cannot see, that we are postulating to be the dark matter because of the, the movements. Um, are actually, so I guess this is another answer to your question, it's like uh, building a a case, like building a um, step-by-step, step-by-step uh, step logical story 
that gets you there, right? Yeah. So we really have to start with the the, the, the spectral lines, the spec. There are lines. If there are no lines, you cannot see the shift. Mm. How do you see the shift? Because there's a line, you know where it has to be, mm. but then you measure it shifted. Right, so you right. measure the shift, right? And then, and then you, uh, and then you you have gravity. You know how fast this should be moving, but then you compare. Then, then you make the next jump and say there done. must be something there. Mm. And then we get to dark matter. So, um, yeah. So it's it's not it's not simple, but at the same time, it's I a story you. that you can follow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you pay enough attention, uh, and I don't know if that's part of uh, what's being lost in like just science communication or science headlines right? because yes. we just know the headline right you know they captured the picture of a black hole right that's amazing right and that's good that's really amazing but all the steps that had to to be done in order to, to actually achieve right. that was crazy yeah right I, yeah and that's really the story of science that's really the the value of science yeah that um, yeah, the, the power, the power in that, in that, uh, and that you have this yeah machinery that that exists that humans have built over over many 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 years, right? And that the scientists, the scientists, especially those who are doing research, what they're doing is just just pushing that edge just a bit by adding something Keeping on top, going, just yeah. something, just a little thing on top. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, so yeah, and then a small portion of the population actually spends their lives doing that. So absolutely, and I'm so grateful for it. <laughs> grateful for the time you spent on all your research. As well, you haven't put your whole life into it. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. Now that you're yeah, here, yeah, 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 but yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah. still pretty amazing. And thanks no, for explaining yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. Um, and that's why in the Pinoy Scientists blog, yeah. mm -hmm. that's what I like want to highlight, right? To, to give a. Uh, space for scientists, Filipino scientists, uh, here and around the world to share about what they do because basically what they do is they're just trying to, like a PhD is just... It's just, just like just a, a, speck a speck of sand. A speck of sand, yeah. right, in that, in that, in, uh, in that, in that, uh, <laughs> in the sea of knowledge, right? Yes, but yes. if no one does that, we don't push it. The circle yeah. doesn't move, right? Uh, and so, Absolutely. um, so yeah, this is so part of that, that, that um, initiative was really just wanting to share that with more people, that, that we have actually a small portion of our population, but we exist, right? We exist and people do it and um, it deserves to be recognized and celebrated. Definitely. That's why we're doing this. So uh, actually, you know, my, my last question that I, I wanted your input on was what would you like the Filipino science scene or... Yeah, what would you want it to be like? And to follow up with that, is how would people become scientists? If they were just curious, um, what do you, what would your advice be for them? Sure, sure. Two part question. Uh, the first question, of course, there are many answers to that, but one thing that I, I, I think about is, I want, where, where do we want to be? I want to be where, I can sincerely advise a young person that they don't need to leave, leave the country. to be a good scientist, right? So we need, because right now there's a choice, right? There's, yeah. there's a choice, like me, I, ch I chose to leave. In a way, it was not a choice. It's like you had to leave because yeah. if, you want, so to, if you want to do, right. But then there's so many, but there, but there are also practical things, right? For example, there's only, so many telescopes in the world, right? There's only one CERN. So if you want to do that kind of science, you have to go there. And it's a sci international endeavor. Actually, people from all over the world go to CERN to do particle physics, right? But but that's not. those are not the only scientific fields. There are so many things, right? In fact, uh, we are the center of marine biodiversity in the world. So we should be yes. leading the science in that, yeah. right? If we had the right... And we are, we are, uh, in collaboration with international scientists. Yeah. But imagine if actually even other scientists from around the world come to us. Here right. Here, yeah. 
to do to do that. Oh, we have Erie, for example, Rice mm -hmm. uh, Institute. So I want to like I want to see more of that and then have enough opportunities for the for scientists, young scientists who want to to be good scientists and have a good career, have that opportunity to join these institutions, join the space agency uh, that we are yeah, we are building, uh, and, 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 ha and have a career here, right? And not have to have a choice. I uh, have to have the difficult choice to leave the country. Of course, if they want to, if they prefer that, that's fine, right? But we, they need to have a, uh, we, we need to, have to be able to make a case that actually can stay here and have yeah. a good life here and still practice science uh, and say that with a, with a good conscience. Um, I know I don't think we're there yet, but we're getting there. We are getting there. I hope so. With there. your health. <laughs> Start the movement. Pinoy Pinoy Scientist yeah. Blog. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and a lot of a lot of young scientists are yeah, are, are are being trained abroad and then then there will come a time where they have to ask this question, right? How do I uh, where do I spend the rest of my career? And yeah. the best we can <laughs> hope for is that they can actually do it do it here. Yeah. Ideally. And with the second part of my question, what's your advice for oh, yeah. young scientists? Oh, yeah. Just personally, right, regardless of whether the Philippines supports or recognizes scientists, right? Science is an international endeavor, right? You can be anywhere in the world. And in fact, um, that's an opportunity, right? You can actually spend uh, you know, many of your uh, years uh, in the best places in the world because of science, right? Uh, because and get get training, get mentored with the best in the world, um, and then and then and then see, right? And then see where it takes you. Yeah, a lot of things you cannot foresee. Um, and if it means if there's an opportunity to come back, if there's an opportunity to uh, to collaborate with people here, then then do it, right? But for now, especially the young ones, it's really about just building building the skills um, and getting into the career path uh, and not getting discouraged by by perceived notions that this is not practical or not. Uh, ano ba? Uh, walang kab walang kabuhayan jan or it's like <laughs> parang we just parang and that's why the, 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 the thing about the Pinoy scientists, right? It's just giving more examples, more role models. People are are doing this and they're having a good life and they are <laughs> and there's support for this, right? Yep. And then Absolutely. and then just from there, then do the practical things. You have to apply. You have to do this. You have to do this. But but first, you have to get over the barrier of um, uh, like I'm the first person doing this, uh -huh. right? Uh, and and that's what the community is for. And that's what we're here for to help you and to guide you to to where you you can go. That's amazing that you've started that community, and that's why I'm saying Miss Reina is the Pied Piper of scientists here in the Philippines. So, I'm gonna advice, and hopefully, more scientists come out in the Philippines just so we can have, as you said, a better infrastructure for people to choose to stay and so that more people can retire when they're 40 years old. <laughs> so, thank you so much for being a part of Creative Pickings. Congrats thank you, thank you, to everything, guys. Please follow the blog and Maybe we can join you on your next Zen uh, escapade. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. Yeah, I'll share. I'll send the link.